Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Thanks for uh, stopping in for another episode of Leet Wine TV here. Uh, we've got... Um, this is going to be kind of neat, I think. It's a, it's a Riesling, and uh, I think this is going to be the first time I'm going to use the marketing of, of a, uh, or the marketing department, the uh, little tagline for a wine bottle for episode title. But anyway, uh, this is the Funf uh, German Riesling, as the uh, bottle says. We got this for $5.99 at HEB Plus. Um, for those of you who do not speak German, like myself, uh, Funf, which I did look up and learn how to pronounce that word, is the German word for five. Now, a little marketing thing says fun, or, well, fun, even though they have the F-U-N spelt with, in the German part, they just don't have the other F or whatever that symbol is or letter. Fun begins at five, or Funf begins at five. So, uh... This is produced by the uh, Schmidt Sohn, Sohn um, uh, Winery in Germany. Um, this particular wine is from the wine is from the Rhine the Rhine region, and uh, it's labeled as or classified as a Deutscher Tafel Tafelwein, which means a German table wine. And that's your entry level run of the mill wine. And for $5.99, it's about what it should be. So, uh, a little bit of Riesling action, and let's uh, let's see how this is. How you doing? All right, so um, let's try to take care of that. Definitely getting some smells already. So, um, we bought this kind of because the bottle's kind of neat. All about marketing, guys. What makes you buy a bottle of wine over another, especially if you don't really know anything about the wines you're looking at? How do they market it? Was it a cool little bottle? Is it did they have a little little charm on top of it, like that wine a couple weeks ago? I found some more of those wines, by the way. Um, they have different charms on them, so the Torres. So maybe we'll get some of those another time. Okay, that was strange. You know, I really don't know what I'm getting on the nose, which, you know, wouldn't say is unusual. I've actually been pretty impressed these past other 16 episodes. I've been able to get more than one or two things. Well, a lot of things are able to get anything because sometimes I don't really smell much. I mean, I smell something. I just don't know what it is. And that, that's what it is. I just can't... It, it's not like I just taste wine and alcohol. I mean, there's definitely a... Uh, I don't know. All of a sudden, the the idea of those little bit of honey candies came to light, but I don't think that's really what I'm smelling, or I'm not really smelling honey. Maybe a... This is very perplexing. Just a clean, a little bit of cleanness. Man, I'm spending a lot of time. But you know what? That's what you do. You spend a lot of time. Let's get really get that going. I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't really tell. I mean, maybe a little bit of that bit of honey. Maybe a, a caramel. I don't know. But not, not really. I'm going to go with an I don't know, which, you know what? It's okay to say I don't know. It is. It's better to say I don't know than make something up, by the way. So I'm going to go with I'm not really sure or I don't know, but let's taste it. Maybe something will come to mind.
you know, there, there's something there. And maybe a little bit of apples. And honestly, in the second taste, I literally just tasted water. Like, it just was just, for, for, for a brief moment, it was just like, this is water. Um, I mean, it's drinkable. And it's... It's got some acid, so that, that's good. Um, there's a sweetness to it, but it's not sweet. It's, it's, it's a semi-sweet uh, wine. I'm getting some acid, and that, that's good. The acid's like an all over the place, so it's not really focused. Um, I, I guess kind of an apple. You know what, with, with the whole bit of honey thing, and maybe that, that, that little caramel thought, maybe kind of a... Maybe kind of a, a caramel and green apple. Because I'm, I'm thinking green apple, not red apple. And the only reason I say the caramel is because of the residual sugar. It's just like I'm trying to think of what it could be and I don't, I don't really come up with anything. I, it confuses me. I'm confused about this wine. And that's not good. You don't want wine to confuse you. I don't know. I mean, it's a table wine. I mean, bottom line, it's not meant to be anything great. It's meant to be easy drinking. You got a bunch of people over here. I mean, the whole thing, fun begins at 5 after work, during dinner, on the town, with a special someone or lots of friends, open a bottle and add a little thunf to your life. It's not really adding much fun to my life. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I, it's 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 refreshing in, in in the sense of a non-wine way, and and I I don't know. For somebody who doesn't really care about wine they, they, they just want something that's easy to drink it has a little bit of a little bit of sweetness a little a little tartness to it maybe because you got the little sweet and a little bit of acid and they don't mind spending six dollars i'd say yeah if you like it go ahead and drink it but if you want a german riesling don't buy this I, i'm just saying i I'm, I'm disappointed in the fact that it says it's a german riesling and i'm like it it doesn't taste like anything really I mean, it tastes more like a Pinot Grigio to me than anything else, to be honest. But, uh, 78. I'm giving it a 78. I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I said with the second wine so far we've done, I, I, said, I said I wouldn't buy it again. Uh, I definitely don't recommend this. Um, which, which sucks, but you know what? Hey, I can't have, you know, I can't have everything. You know, we were batting a thousand with HEB Plus, but there's got to be at least one or two wines there that, you know, I'm not going to like. Now, you may like this wine. And you may think I'm, I'm just way off base. You may be going, I, I taste all this kind of stuff. And, and, and you might. I mean, I'm going to take this back there to the to backstage, and I'll be like, what do you taste? Maybe, maybe they taste something better than I do or smell something better. All right, so a little, little uh, couple things about, about this. Like I said, fünf means five in German. So they obviously were going with the marketing play because that's about all they got, it seems. Fun begins at five. Um, the Rhine, the Rhine region. Uh, they actually got some little little stats from their website. I actually went to their website, and it was hard to find this because they put it under special wines or specialty wines. So they're obviously you know, and it's only available in the U.S. That's the one thing. Again, it means the Germans don't want it. Let's just give it to those dumb Americans. They'll drink anything. Um, Residual sugar, 34 to 36 grams per liter. Okay. Uh, acidity, 6.5 to 7 grams per liter. Um, Schmitzone is, they make a ton of wine. They're huge. Uh, if you're out and about, you'll see a bunch of those blue bottles with a little, with a little um, uh, sun on it. And they've got... Uh, like four different reasons they produce with that. I've had a couple of those, and they're pretty good. I mean, they're definitely much better than this one. Um, and uh, they have, they have, for, for those four bottles of Riesling they have, those four uh, levels of Riesling, 
they have a different website called the Little German or LittleGerman.com. It's either the Little German or Little German. I don't remember, but um, they've got that. Uh, so they they market that heavily to the United States. They've got a whole bunch of other wines. Um, I'm not impressed. I definitely wouldn't. Uh, oh, I was gonna say. Uh, so Schmidt Schmidt Sohn, um, their actual winery is located in the Mosul Saar Ruhr region of Germany. But yeah, I dump it. But I'll have them taste it. Uh, anyway, what else? Uh, Sommelier School lesson number two: the art of tasting wine. Uh, yes, there is an art. Uh, come, Couple, of, I don't know if I call them shout outs. Well, one shout out, or just gonna go through some, uh, go through an email I got. And as soon as I scroll to, here we go. So uh, we got Dean and Joan from uh, Lakewood, New Jersey. Yeah, rocking the dirty jerseys. Um, so I asked a question like, you know, suggestions of, of wines. And uh, so they, they sent me this email. Would appreciate you doing a review on uh, subject wine. Not really sure what that meant. Uh, we think it's on subject wine. Strange because, uh, oh, subject Columbia Crest. Okay. I knew, I, I've already read the email, so I know what it's about. Uh, so review on Columbia Crest. We think it's a great wine selling from 7 to $10 a bottle, depending on sales, etc. As you know, it's a Washington State wine, which gives me a patriotic feeling. The Merlot and Cabernet are our favorites, so please give us some background on the wine and the company. Uh, thanks, Dean and Joan. Uh, P.S. I'll buy some today on sale for $6.95 a bottle for the you know, standard 750 milliliter bottle. Um, also got some, uh, so Columbia Crest, just a little quick thing about that. They're owned by the same company as uh, Chateau Saint-Michel. A lot of times they're called the mini Chateau Saint-Michel. Uh, and I'd have to look that up, or I'd have to verify it, but... Uh, I've heard in the past that their their Columbia Crest is they use the same wine, they use the same grapes as uh, Chateau, but they may not use exactly the same grapes. Had a few other suggestions through Twitter. Yeah, I do read all my stuff, and people are starting to send some stuff. So I had uh, uh, Brienne Spear ask about the 2007 Pillar Box Red at World Market. So we know we love World Market. Uh, they had it for $9.99, uh, but she's not sure what the regular price is. I uh, got my boy Jay Huber. Uh, he's a JHMT, JH Montana on Twitter. Uh, old Twitter friend of mine. Uh, so the Ravenswood line dropped to $6.99, I guess, up in Montana. and doesn't seem to have, much lost, to have lost much of a step. Twin Fins Shiraz, or Shiraz as Americans say, is nice. Also, New Age. So, Jay, I'll take a look at those. Uh, we'll see what's going on. And then uh, my good buddy, George Godfrey, uh, that was the guy that gave me all the wine enthusiast magazines. Uh, he was enjoying a glass of Windsor Sonoma Chardonnay 2007. This uh, nice weather for a warm evening, or nice wine for a warm evening. Russian River Valley. Uh, and he said, he, he said uh, I would like it. So, uh, we've got some great suggestions. We're going to make a list of people... Uh, what they suggest I me. Mean, we got a ton of wine that were was bought uh, yesterday at uh, Costco. So, uh, yeah, Costco. So, uh, we've got a whole bunch there to uh, to take a look at. Uh, we'll add these to the list. They're all with, we're all within the uh, price range of what we're looking for. Uh, so, thank you for doing that. Keep the suggestions coming in. We'll try to uh, accommodate those as best as we can, as fast as we can. Um, but, remember... Not making any money right now. Donations, clicks, buy some stuff. I know people are looking at the ads. I know that much. Haven't had any donations yet. They're kind of a little bit farther down the page because you know I'm not trying to push the donations as much as trying to you know get you know the ad type of stuff. But um, so buy some stuff. And that way I can buy some more wine. Um, Friend me up on Twitter, email me. I mean, I read all the emails, answer them as best I can, as fast as I can. Um, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Tell your friends. The more people you tell, the more people watch it, the more eyeballs come to the website, and we get uh, more clicks, and, you know, that's kind of how it works. So uh, as much as I would love this to just be a little hobby, uh, I do want to at least break even uh, right now. So um, let's see what else. Uh, 
that's going to be about it. It was early. This is not even 11 o'clock yet. That was one thing I want to go, you know, it's 5 o'clock somewhere in the world. Another reason why I'm doing this one. Just kind of, I just woke up and I said, let's do the German Riesling. And, uh, you know, the whole 5 o'clock, I'm doing it early. 5 o'clock, it's definitely past 5 o'clock somewhere. And they're enjoying some other wine, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, and we'll see everybody again next time.